smells like a weapon. That's one small step for man. Hold on to your butt. The universe is in us. For science! I'm Nick Uoss, host of science show Nickipedia. I've partnered up with Skybound Games to explore the science of the mobile RPG Summoner's War. Today, we're gonna be exploring the science of ice weapons. In Summoner's War, ice is used for all sorts of different things. Spells, weapons. One of my favorite examples is the Polar Queen, Alicia. Ice is a 1.5 on the Mohs scale. The Mohs scale is a scale of hardness from one to 10. 10 being the hardest, which is diamond, and one being talc, which is very brittle. You could probably scratch it with your fingernail. This ice that we're using came from an ice carver, and we actually keep our ice on dry ice. So at negative 94 degrees Fahrenheit, ice actually becomes a six on the Mohs hardness scale. Today we're gonna be testing exactly how dangerous ice weapons are by taking an ice sickle and putting it up against a metal shield. We know that steel is harder than ice, but we don't know if with enough force, if the ice will actually dent or go through the shield or not. Uh, <laughs> that was, okay, first of all, that was ridiculous. I really did not expect ice to do such a good job at bludgeoning the shield. I am so impressed by the structural durability of the icicle in the sense that it didn't crack the whole way through. It really just sort of fractured at the tip here. There is still enough of an icicle right here to do some more testing. <laughs> This icicle was way, way stronger than I anticipated, but let's test out the sword. So here is our ice sword. It's just so awesome. I'm really gonna go for it. I'm gonna swing as hard as I can, and if I can even put a dent in this, I'll be super stoked. But there's only one way to find out. I went in for it, it just exploded. It threw ice shrapnel all over my entire yard. As you can see right here, it didn't dent it at all actually. Even the paint's intact. In the battle of ice, sword versus shield, I would certainly say that the shield won. We know that the sword does a great job at exploding on impact when it goes up against a shield. However, we do have some watermelons. And so we're going to test I really didn't anticipate the sword literally going through the watermelon. I'm relatively speechless. This thing is so dangerous. I have to say, this sword put this watermelon on ice. Here's what we've learned. We've learned that an ice sword has no problem piercing a watermelon and that an ice sickle cannot penetrate a wooden shield or a metal shield. However, the ice sickle is actually quite durable when it comes to battle actions. I actually hit the shield three times and still used the icicle, whereas the ice sword pretty much had a one-time use. So if I were in the battlefield, I'd be going with the ice sickle over the ice sword. If you guys like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up in the comment section below. Let me know, what would you guys use? Would you use an ice sickle or an ice sword? Don't forget to subscribe to Skybound Games and our partners at Summoner's War. Hello, kind sir, please stop fighting us. Thank you. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty cool.